coach. Um, we had him. We, we were a bad coaching part on our job. He was coming in, didn't really know a whole lot, knew he could run. Um, but moving him back to the outside, uh, getting him out of the slot, I think has really helped him um, and really helped him come, come a long way since the spring. Um, but we gotta, we got to get some consistency of that position. We've had some guys just get, you know, nagging injuries with hamstrings and groins. And so we've just got to get it back healthy. And, um, you know, Chase Harrell was having a good camp until he got some hamstring tightness. I was really pleased with him. I mean, just raising up, throwing him a quick hitch and, and letting him get nine yards for us was, you know, he's a big, strong kid. Um, I could brag on a lot of those guys. I mean, they're doing a really good job. Uh, we've thrown, like Coach said, we've thrown a lot of plays at them. A lot of concepts by design. We wanted to see how much they retain from the spring and the summer. And then we've added some really good wrinkles that we've really studied this summer. And uh, some things that have really helped us, uh, especially getting those tight ends of the ball. So um, I've overall, been very pleased with how we're, what we're doing at receiver. We had a couple drops today. I think we had about five or six drops today. We got to clean that up. Um, especially on first down, you know, throwing a hitch out there, you got to be able to protect, you got to be able to catch that pitching catch for five yards and second five instead of second ten. So, you know, like to like get like to get that cleaned up. But um, but overall, I think the first week of practice, we've been we've been pretty pretty good shape. Speed of getting the plays off. I know you didn't like yeah. that in the spring. How, how yeah. have you seen after a summer of them working on that? Yeah, I think we've gotten a lot faster. I think that um, our quarterbacks are for the most part running the show and they're getting them going a lot faster our o-line is getting down we actually had and that's something we got to clean up we had some pre-snap penalties today that that are you know it's a it's a bad, bad press conference in front of you guys and i got to stand up here after the game and, and address penalties before the snap and we've got to get that addressed a lot of them were, we were waiting on somebody to get set and that receiver you know stopped his feet and then put his left back foot back so um, but we got called for it. So just just getting lined up at a fast tempo and getting the ball snapped. But we've definitely come light years from, from where we were in the spring. How did you do on uh, interceptions? Did you have any of those? Yeah, we had one. Uh, Shevin Callaway made a heck of a play, man. That was, I mean, unbelievable. Kind of a one-hand catch, kind of turned his body. One-hand catch and drug a foot in. Uh, Ty was trying to throw a back shoulder ball to the tight end. And, and uh, I think the tight end maybe, again, I got to watch the film, but I think he kind of went inside. and. Ty threw it outside, and Shevin just kind of turned around, one-handed it, and drug a foot. So good play by him, um, and that's going to happen at times. But, um, you know, it wasn't in the red zone, and, and you know, we, we, we got to clean that up for sure. don't want to throw interceptions. I'm not making an excuse for that, but that was a heck of a play by him. We've seen a big difference in Dead Wall from what we saw last year. Is he looking like a guy who could be oh, a lead yeah. back and all that? Yeah, you know, when we first got here, we were watching the film, and we and I've said this, we, we feel like he was kind of, you know, just, uh, just a little overweight, and uh, he's really worked on his body really cut his weight and and uh, he's liking our style of offense because there's only a six-man box and sometimes even five-man boxes at times so it's a lot cleaner looks for him and uh, if we'll cover him up up front and get that dude just a little bitty hole he's gonna hit it and uh, he gets behind his pads runs well uh, we hit him with a screen actually today I think he went for about 30 35 and got called back for a hold so Again, just just dumb jump dumb penalties uh, is really the only thing that I'm kind of frustrated with after after the first scrimmage. We got to just clean those up, and um, and we're going to be okay. Coach, what did you see from uh, Ty and Cole today? Uh, I saw you know they did they did a really good job. Um, surprised that that question wasn't asked first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, they did a really good job. Um, you know, I think Ty, uh, for the most part, I think he was, don't quote me on this, but I think he was about 9 of 12, something like that. And, and, and Cole, had, Cole had the majority of the drops, I believe, but he was about 13 of 26 with about five drops. I think we counted on the field. So, you know, we'll go back and grade the film and see exactly what it was. But um, I thought they did a really good job. I think that the, the main thing I'm really stressing to them right now is just, hey, just go play quarterback for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Don't worry about being the coach. Don't worry about being an official. Don't worry about getting the fans hype. Just go play quarterback for the University of Arkansas. And that's all we're asking you to do. And uh, they've done a good job to this point. Again, like I've said, uh, for one of those guys that really emerged is consistency and putting our guys in the end zone. And, um, and I felt like both of them moved the ball well today at times. Both of them with the ones. Both of them had reps with the twos. And then we'll go grade the tape and find out who, just who had the better day. The weight that Kelly lost, is there any evidence that helped him? It has. It's definitely helped him. would like him to lose some more. Uh, I think he's still about 258. His goal was 250. 
but he's doing a better job. You know, I'm on his butt every day at the uh, training table, making sure he don't go there and get some pasta and, and all that crazy stuff that he likes to eat. And uh, so we're keeping him to salads and, and vegetables and, you know, some lean protein stuff, trying to get him to cut about eight more pounds. But he definitely looks a whole lot better. Um, you know, he doesn't have the doesn't have the belly sticking out of his jersey anymore, which I think has helped him be able to a little bit move a little bit better and be more mobile uh, of a quarterback. But I definitely think that the the weight that a lot of our guys cut this off season has really helped a lot of them. In some of the open periods we've seen, the younger quarterbacks have gotten first rack. Mm -hmm. How have those guys operated when they've had the first unit? Well, today, you know, Connor, the other day, I should say, the other day we let Connor go with the ones to start the scrimmage out, and he did a good job. And today we let John Steven take the ones in the first first uh, part out after the situational stuff. And I thought he did a nice job. Again, we let those guys go in a white jersey today to see what they could do with their feet. And I thought both of them did a really nice job. Well, at what stage do you have to tailor down, you know, not giving out a ton of reps to quarterbacks? You, you it's know? hard, yeah. That's the hardest thing. And, and like I said, I, I hope somebody starts to emerge pretty quick. Um, we got to have to try to start probably this week a little bit tailoring it down. Um, but again, I, you know, those young guys need some work too because they're good quarterbacks and they're doing a heck of a job. So uh, it's hard. It's really hard. But again, with the new red shirt rule, who knows? We might play one of those guys. How pleased were you guys with kind of the pace the offense was able to go at and how they handled that? Uh, I thought it was, you know, a lot better than it has been in the past. Um, these guys are really learning uh, what we want out of them and from a tempo standpoint. And I think they're doing a nice job. They've done it all summer long on their own, and the quarterbacks have led them. And uh, they've had some leadership up front with Yelda and, and some leaders on the, on the tight end with, with Cantrell and Patton. And I think those guys have really done a really nice job um, of, of learning the tempo we're trying to play at. So I was very pleased with that today. What's on tap for this coming week? Is it heavy install, or how do you approach this coming week? Yeah, we took we took the first three days and really uh, installed a lot. We really threw a lot at them because I wanted to see what they retained from the spring and the summer. And uh, they did a really nice job, a uh, really good job with that. Um, this week we have some things on the on the on the books to get um, you know some of our specials in some play action stuff in um, and just some situational stuff that we got to clean up. We actually coached <laughs> we called one on the sideline today that I really wanted to get in on third and long. Um, we actually drew it up on the sideline and it worked and it, it actually it, I think it scored but the ref called us down on the one so we ended up scoring on that but. Uh, just plays like that. Again, we've tried to scale back after we put the first three days hard in, and, and I really wanted to get some things in. Just hadn't had time to, just because I want to get really good at our base stuff right now, and um, and make sure we can block every front, every look we could possibly see. And Chief and the defense and, and the boys are they're they're, they're they're throwing a lot at at us, and um, so we got to be ready for anything they throw at us. Different looks, uh, different fronts. Um, and so I told I told was talking to Chief the other day and just told him, hey man, just keep doing what you're doing with us because that's going to make us nothing but better uh, when we play games because there's not going to be a look we haven't already seen. So I uh, appreciate our defense doing that for sure, um, and it's making us better. Coach says all the time, iron sharpens iron, and I definitely believe that's what's happening. Did he get to unleash fully today, or y'all uh, dial it back some? No, he did. He did. First <laughs> period was uh, was as, as a pressure period, and uh, so he they brought some pressure and. They kept bringing their pressures that they do, and and um, but it was I thought it was a good day. Any receivers making some plays in the scrimmage? In the scrimmage, uh, I know Tobias Inlow. Uh, he caught the underneath play we threw. Uh, I thought I thought he scored. I thought he fell in the end zone, but they caught him down on the one. Um, you know, I think we hit Mike Woods on a big play. Uh, I had to take him out the play prior to that uh, because he dropped a five-yard hitch, and then he made a heck of a play on a one on a 50-50 ball down the field. So. Um, that's the two only I, uh, that just stands out that I remember. Um, but you know we got to give those guys a chance too down the field as well to make those 50-50 balls. I thought one time we had Pat Way. I don't remember the quarterback was, but we had Pat Way down the field, and we we overthrew him just a little bit. We just got to give him a chance right there to make a play. So um, those are the ones that kind of stand out before watching the tape. Tobias Enlow and Gary Crawl, guys like Gary Crawl, mm -hmm. they're getting a pretty good shot. I think I saw Gary maybe running, getting some early reps. I'll tell you one thing, Gary Cross is fast. I know that, and um, he's he's gotten by some DBs and, and fall camp this far, and and uh, we're just trying to find out, you know, what that wall he can do. He's really come a long way. Uh, I love what he's done to make himself better and to work on his craft this summer. He's actually learned the plays, which that was kind of his biggest thing in the spring, is he just didn't know what to do. 
Um, but man, he's he's really come a long way, and Tobias is doing a great job as well. Uh, two two uh, really good guys that that are that are competing for a job. I think Chad told us Brian.